Okay guys, I am going to try actually teaching now. Um, bear with me. Uh, we're moving on to some concepts that are not in your book anymore. So, um, I'm going to see how this goes. I want your feedback. Let me know. Um, sorry, I'm not really on camera here. I'm kind of smushed in a corner of my house. This was really the only place I could do this. All right, so let's start. The first thing I want to do is go back and review. Okay. Um, if I gave you this problem, which you should be able to do, write the equation of a tangent line to this curve, f of x equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 at x equals 2. Um, so at x equals 2, that's going to be somewhere right here, 2 comma something. We want to write the equation of a line tangent to this curve at x equals 2. So I taught you to get the slope by taking the first derivative, and we did the first derivative by using the um, difference quotient. So if we do that, if we use the difference quotient three times x plus h squared minus four times x plus h minus one minus the function three x squared minus four x minus one all over h. You guys know that x plus h squared will give you x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Distribute the 4 through minus 4x minus 4h minus 1 and then distribute this negative minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 all over h. Then distribute the 3 through. Because I'm running out of space here, I'm actually going to erase this and distribute the 3 through. So that would give me 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared. And then you have to cancel all the terms that cancel each other out. So like 3x squared and negative 3x squared negative 4x and 4x, negative 1 and 1. And you are left with 6xh plus 3h squared minus 4h. If you factor an h out of the numerator, the h that you factor out of the numerator will cancel with this one. And your first derivative will be 6x plus 3h minus 4. And I asked you guys to take the limit as h approaches 0. So at this point, you can do direct substitution. If h is 0, you are left with 6x minus 4. And you guys now know that this is the slope formula. So to find the slope of this tangent line at x equals 2, we have to plug 2 in for x. So the slope is 6 times 2 minus 4. So 12 minus 4, which is 8. There's your slope. So in order to write the equation of the line, you need a point and the slope. We have the slope, but we got to figure out what the y value is when x is 2. So you have to take this 2, plug it back into the original function. So f of 2 would be 3 times 2 squared, 3 times 2 squared, minus 4 times 2 minus 1. So f of 2 would be 3 times 4, which is 12, minus 8, which is 4, minus 1 is 3. So when x is 2 on this parabola, the y value is 3. You now have what you need to find the equation of the line y equals mx plus b. So you now know y is 3, so plug in 3 for y. The slope we found by doing the first derivative is 8. x is 2 plus b. So 8 times 2 is 16. If I subtract 16 from 3, I get negative 13 for my b value. So the equation of my line is y equals 8x minus 13. This is what I've been asking you to do last week. So the lesson that I actually want to teach you um, next, and I'm going to do a whole nother video, 
is the same exact problem. We're gonna do the same problem again, but this time I'm gonna start teaching you shortcuts for the first derivative. I apologize, this uh, difference quotient works for every function. The shortcuts don't work for every function, but I'm gonna start showing you shortcuts in the next video. We are going to redo this first derivative using the shortcuts that I give you. All right, so you're gonna have to watch the next video.